get more on this story and speak to Panos Konstantinides. He's an Associate Professor of Information Systems at Warwick Business School in the United Kingdom. Joining us live from Coventry, many thanks for joining us, Panos. So do you think that something does Thank need to be me. done? Is, is something necessary? Uh, and will these, this solution actually work? Because it's not legally binding, so the smartphone companies don't actually have to comply. Yes, um, I think this is uh, something that definitely needs to be done because uh, even though there is no uh, direct causality uh, between uh, car accidents uh, and fatality, um, one of the key factors is uh, device disruption. Um, and device disruption usually takes place when um, a driver reaches for the phone uh, to answer a text um, or um, uh, use an application uh, or do anything with uh, his or her hands. Uh, so this is a very welcome change, uh, I think, and it will have a, a huge impact in minimizing uh, car accidents in the U.S. Uh, now, of course, uh, this is something that the government cannot force uh, on the smartphone uh, manufacturers, uh, such as Apple and Samsung, uh, especially um, since uh, in recent years, uh, games like Pokemon Go and other applications are becoming very uh, successful. Now, of course, uh, no one uh, should be uh, driving and using Pokemon Go, um, but there are a number of different applications uh, on a smartphone, including navigation that you mentioned, but also music um, and, and other applications that um, a passenger in a car can, uh, can use. Because let's not forget that uh, there are other passengers in a car, not just the driver, uh, and very often um, uh, the spouse uh, of the driver would be using the device to navigate or to put music on, uh, on the car communication system. Uh, so I think this is something that is not necessarily going to fly uh, with uh, companies like Apple and Samsung. Um, so I think th there should be an alternative uh, approach uh, to um, uh, dealing with this problem. And what, what do you suggest is the alternative? Um, Yes. Um, uh, well, one way to do this uh, is to um, enable um, uh, new IT capabilities between the car communication system and the smartphone uh, in such a way that uh, once a phone enters a car, once a driver with a phone enters a car, uh, the car communication system immediately enables a voice recognition uh, software uh, allowing the driver to navigate uh, through uh, different applications on his or her uh, mobile phone uh, to open up different applications. Uh, of course, um, uh, anything that has to do with uh, using uh, uh, the hands, uh, any touch-based uh, uh, communication between the driver and the phone should be disabled. Uh, but the driver should still be able to uh, use uh, different functions on the smartphone. Uh, this is already done by uh, Apple's CarPlay but this is only available through selected uh, cars. I think uh, this is something that should be made available throughout um, uh, and across uh, different car manufacturers should consider uh, developing diff uh, uh, similar such uh, applications. I think this is something that also privacy groups uh, okay. would uh, probably uh, approve. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, okay. privacy is a big issue and uh, yep. we certainly don't want to be blocking uh, users from using their mobile phones. Panos, I appreciate your time and your thoughts today. Panos Konstantinides joining us there from Warwick Business School in the UK.